Caterpillar down again today after a falling 5% in yesterday's session. The stock down 16% in the past month, making it the worst performer in the Dow. Here to discuss the issues weighing on CAT, Rob Wertheimer, Director of Research at Melius Research. Rob, uh, has CAT been overly, overly punished here? Well, we do think it has. And so if you think about what the drivers are for Caterpillar, it's all the disruption we've seen across the last year. It's the energy crisis and the need for energy security in Europe, where CAT is going to have tremendous business selling uh, pipeline equipment. It's infrastructure in North America. It's reshoring in North America, bringing investment here. We've had a decade of underinvestment, and those things are still intact. Uh, the banking stuff has definitely caused uncertainty in the market, and there's modest spillover to the actual real uh, end markets for CAT. But the uh, the industrial upcycle still has strong support. How much is, are they dependent on government funding, and how and how might government funding funding cuts affect them? Yeah, and so if you think about what happened the last time we had a real kind of meltdown in the financial markets way back in 09, we did not have a an infrastructure bill really waiting in the wings to come through in funding. And so I wouldn't say cash dependent on it, but that's a support that we didn't have a decade plus ago. Um, you think about the reshoring, and these are happening for real kind of geopolitical slash supply chain security reasons, and we didn't have that driver either a decade ago. And so uh, certainly that is a strong support but the fundamental drivers are not really government money, but it's just the need in the world for investment in both old and new energy and in, in factory capacity. What are the big headwinds for Caterpillar? Boy, I mean, there's actually a, a bunch of tailwinds. The, the headwinds that the market has been focused over the, the past uh, couple of weeks, let's say, are, you know, does banking uh, tightness, does tightening of credit cause either people to purchase fewer machines because they're paying more interest rate for them or just does it cause project delays, et cetera? I think the bigger issue in the economy is just that the Fed's trying to slow things down. There's just too much activity and too much work there. Um, but some of the work that needs to be done and is, you know, more or less funded is is on that infrastructure side.